the, the great challenge is that, is that of equality, of uh, enabling the developed, the uh, less developed world to reach the standard of living and uh, the, the uh, access to resources that we have in the developed world. Uh, there is a great willingness to do this on the part of governments, but the practicalities of it are very great. At the moment, uh, the mining companies of the world, for instance, derive much of their raw materials from the developing world, and they're consumed in the developed world. Uh, the entire uh, industrial structure is based around this at the moment. Uh, it clearly needs to change, and it's a challenge for the material scientists, my field, and for the technologists and other scientists of tomorrow to try to achieve this. Uh, my first contact with Grenoble was at a time when I was interested in the mechanics of ice. Uh, there is a Seyan Aris laboratory here, and I made contact with Paul du Duval of that laboratory, who very kindly invited me to come for a sabbatical for six months and work with him in a very cold environment in the back of the Seyan Aris, testing blocks of ice in a cold room. Uh, I had my family with me. We lived in Melon. Uh, we had an absolutely wonderful time, and the warmth and um, reception that I had in, in Grenoble remains with me and my family now. Since then, my interests are broadly in materials, and in the uh, INP here, you have a very strong materials group led by Professor Brechet and his colleagues. Uh, he translated one of my books, as a matter of fact, and it was because of this that I first met him. Um, and we have never looked back. We have worked together ever since for at least 15 years, written books together, shared research students, uh, more than anything else, discussed ideas and uh, developed them. So it's been a very profitable relationship for me. Uh, Eve and his students have also come to Cambridge and spent at least one sabbatical there and a lot of student time. So it has been a reciprocal arrangement of great value to all of us.